Hi everyone, this is lecture 46 in electronic devices course. In this lecture, I will discuss some previous gate problems on the Zener diode concept. But first we will discuss what we have seen in the previous lecture, that is lecture 45. In lecture 45, we have discussed two breakdown mechanisms, that is Zener breakdown and avalanche multiplication. This Zener breakdown will occur when the Zener diode voltage is less than 6 volts and the PN junction should be heavily doped. And this mechanism will occur at approximately an electric field of 2 into 10 to the power 7 volt per meter. And the mechanism here is, so due to this heavily doped PN junction, high electric field will be produced. So that is sufficient to break the covalent bonds in N-type and P-type semiconductor materials. So the name we can say it is direct rupture of covalent bonds. That is, due to this high electric field, directly covalent bonds will break. So whenever the covalent bonds are breaking, electron hole pairs will be generated. So whenever there are carriers, current will produce. Next, uh, avalanche multiplication will occur when the Zener diode voltage is greater than 6 volts and the PN junction should be lightly doped. Here the mechanism is disrupting the covalent bonds due to collisions in the crystal. That is, suppose if an electron is there, so this electron will acquire some energy from the applied field and it will move with some acceleration and it will collide with the crystal ion and it will generate one electron and one hole. And this generated electron holes again will collide with the crystal ions and again it will generate the electron and holes and this is a accumulation process. So due to this so many number of electrons and holes will be generated again the current will produce. So these are the two mechanisms and the name here is disrupting the covalent bonds. Then we have seen the Zener diode symbol, this is the Zener diode symbol. Then we have seen the IV characteristics of the Zener diode. So the Zener diode will work in forward bias as, uh, as a normal diode only. So this is forward bias which will give the exponential relation. But when it comes to reverse bias, up to this Zener diode voltage, that is we can say Vz, so the current will be very small, that is reverse saturation current, but here we will call it as knee current. The moment it is breakdown, then the current will increases, right? So when we go practically, there will be some slight slope will be there. That slope is called Rz, which is delta Vz by delta Ij. So at this Ijk, generally we say Vzk, and after this, when whenever there is a current is increasing, so we can say this is Vz naught. And after a particular IZ, we say VZ. So, so generally, approximately, we can say VZ naught is approximately equal to VZK only, right? So, due to this slope, the Zener diode voltage will be VZ naught plus IZ into the slope, which is RZ, right? So, this is we can say practically, but when we go ideally, VZ is approximately equal to VZ naught only, right? So this is when we uh, model the Zener diode, we have to use these equations. So next we have seen the modeling of the Zener diode. So when I go ideally, when it is reverse bias, that is only reverse bias, not breakdown. So simply the Zener diode will be off, that is open circuit. The moment it is breakdown, if it is ideal, it will be replaced by a VZ naught voltage as a battery. And the polarities of the Zener diode will be like this only. See something like this. This is the Zener diode. So we have to apply positive to cathode, negative to anode. Then it will be replaced by a voltage source. When I go to practically, then we have to include this Rz. So we here Vz will become Vz0 plus Ij into Rz. So if it is Zener diode is forward bias, then if it is ideal, simply replace a short circuit. If it is a practically then we have to replace like a 0.7 voltage drop or 0.3 voltage drops, etc. So this is about the modeling of the Zener diode. Then we have seen the applications of Zener diode, which is the most important application of the Zener diode is voltage regulator. Right? And we have seen the circuit of voltage regulator and we have solved some problems on the voltage regulator. Right? In this lecture also, we will solve some more problems to get more idea about the Zener diode. So this is a question uh, one which came in gate 2013. In the circuit shown below, the knee current of the ideal Zener diode is 10 milliampere. That is IZK is given as 10 milliampere. To maintain 
5 volt across RL. So we have to maintain 5 volt across RL. The minimum value of RL in ohms. So we have to find the RL minimum and the minimum power rating of the Gina diode in milliwatts respectively. So what is the power dissipation across the Gina diode means? It is Vz into Ij max. Remember always this equation power dissipation across the Gina diode. So we have to find this one and RL minimum. So as in previous lecture I have given one equation. What is that equation? I yes that is source current is equal to GNR current plus the load current right so in this problem see input voltage is fixed that means input current will be fixed so is will be fixed so anyway GNR current will vary from ijk to ij max so that also i have given ij will be ijk to ij max so this is fixed and this is variable so this should be variable so il also will vary from minimum to maximum so now concept is when I want to find RL minimum so when the resistance is minimum what is the current flowing through that re resistance it should be maximum right now when we see this equation if this is the maximum and this is the constant so this should be minimum so the first equation we should uh, apply here is 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 equal to IZ minimum plus IL maximum is how to find is so see the circuit we can easily find what is the current flowing through this 100 ohm resistance so once the gina diode is breakdown the voltage across this will be 5 volts anyway it is given as 5 volts so what is this current 10 minus 5 by 100 ohms so 10 minus 5 by 100 ohms is equal to ij min is nothing but knee current so knee current is given as 10 milliampere so 10 milliampere plus il max now how to find il max so we don't know IL, I load. So to find the IL max, see, we know the voltage that is 5 volt. So 5 by RL. So when I want IL maximum, RL should be minimum. So using this equation, we will get the RL minimum. So 10 minus 5 means 5 by 100. That will become 50 milliamperes is equal to 10 milliampere plus 5 by RL minimum. So this will be. 40 milli is equal to 5 by RL minimum. So what is the RL minimum? 5 by 40 milli means kilo. So this will be 1 by 8. So 1 by 8 kilo ohms means it is 125 ohms. So this is the RL minimum. Next we have to find the minimum power rating of the Gina diode. So what is the power rating of the Gina diode? Pz is equal to Vz into Ij max. So we know Vz which is given as 5 volts. If I know Ij max, I can find the Vz. So how to find the Ij max? Again this equation. So when I take Ij minimum, I have to take Il maximum. So here we have to use Is is equal to Ij max plus Il minimum. If this is the maximum, this should be minimum. So what is this a minimum value? So we can say approximately 0 because nothing is given. So the minimum value will be 0. So IS is again same format 10 minus 5 by 100 ohms which will come out as 50 milliampere is IZ maximum. Yes, that's it. Substitute here. VZ 5 into 50 milli. So 250 milliwatts is the minimum power rating of the GNR diode. So this is how to solve this problem. Next we'll see one more question. This question came in gate 2008. In the following limiter circuit and input voltage VI is equal to 10 sine 100 pi T is applied. Assume that the diode drop is 0 0.7 volt when it is followed by asked. The Gina diode breakdown voltage is 6.8 volts. Then the maximum and minimum values of the output voltage respectively are. So we have to find the V0 maximum and V0 minimum. So when I see this circuit there are two normal diodes and one general diode so the concept is very simple whenever the diode is on it will be replaced by a 0 0.7 volt whenever the general diode is breakdown it will be replaced by a 6.8 volts now how to analyze this one is see VI is given as sinusoidal signal that is 10 sine 100 pi t so first we will draw the waveform of the input 
so this is the input waveform so which is given as vi is equal to 10 sin 100 pi t so we need only the peak value 10 to minus 10 volts now we have to find the either minimum and maximum value as the output so what is the maximum value of the input we can apply here 10 volt so when we apply 10 volt so we have to see which diode will be on or break down see plus is connected to d1 so it will be on and it will be replaced by a 0.7 volt now when it is on it is replaced by a 0.7 volt and see 0.7 approximately 10 minutes 9.3 is remaining so again plus is connected to cathode of the GNR diode so this is 10 volt but we require only 6 points so the GNR diode will be breakdown region so the equivalent model will be something like this 1 kilo ohm this is 0 0.7 voltage drop and this is 6.8 voltage drop because the GNR diode is breakdown region and what happens to diode D2 see here minus that is cathode of D2 is connected to the positive terminal of the battery so D2 will be off that is open circuit so maximum we have given as 10 volt and what is the output we can get minus 6.8 minus 0.7 so we will get 7.5 volt is the V0 next this is when we apply the positive now when I apply the negative what will happen so 1 kilo ohm now if we see here anode of d1 is connected to minus 10 so when i give minus plus so it will be reverse bias when it is reverse bias simply open circuit whenever it is open nothing will go to the gina diode so gina diode will also be, will be off so anyway it is open means we can neglect like this and what happens to diode d2 see minus minus so forward bias forward bias means 0.7 voltage drop but negative is top positive is bottom this is 0.7 now tell me what is v0 so minus connected to plus so v0 will be minus 0.7 volt so v0 max is 7.5 volt and v0 minimum is minus 0.7 volt that's it right next i'll solve one more question so this question came in gate 1992 the 6 volt gnr diode shown below has zero gina resistance that is Rz is 0 and the knee current of 5 milliampere and Izk is given as 5 milliamps. The minimum value of R here so that the voltage across if does not fall below 6 volt. So Vr that is across this load should not fall below 6 volts. So very simple question. So this should be 6 volts. So what will be this current? So I is equal to 10 minus 6 by 50 so 4 by 50 amps so what is 4 by 50 means so we'll get 80 milliampere so 80 milliampere is the current from the source and what is the equation we should apply i is equal to ij plus ir now what we require the minimum value of r so when we take minimum value of r this will be maximum so ir maximum whenever it is maximum here should be minimum that is ij minimum what is ij minimum so this is 80 milli ij minimum is ij k which is given as 5 milli plus ir what is ir 6 by r so 6 by we can say r minimum so this will come out 6 by r min is equal to 75 milli so r minimum is equal to 6 by 75 milli so this will come out as 6 divided by 75 into 1000 so 80 ohms so r minimum is simply 80 ohms right next uh, one more question so this question came in gate 1993 the wave shape of v0 in figure is so we have to find the wave shape of v0 so there are two Gina diodes are in series here which is having Gina diode voltage as 4.1 volts 4.1 volts so again very simple question first to draw the input waveform that is something like this which is having peak value of 10 volts and minus 10 volts so this is the VR now when we apply positive hop cycle we have to see which diode is in reverse bias or which diode is in breakdown region or which diode is in forward bias when we apply positive half cycle see here 
plus is connected to G naught diode, first G naught diode anode. So this will be followed by us. So simply replaced by a short circuit. But for the second G naught diode, cathode is connected to plus. So it will become breakdown region. Why? Because the maximum voltage is 10 volts. So that is sufficient to make this G naught diode in breakdown region. So it will be replaced by a plus minus, see here, plus minus 4.1 and this is 10 kilo ohms and what is this maximum 10 volts so tell me what is the V naught so apply KV here minus 10 plus 4.1 plus V naught equal to 0 so what is V naught 5.9 volts so maximum peak when we give positive half cycle is 5.9 volts similarly when we apply negative half circuit like this maximum mean minus 10 now see first diode minus that is anode is connected to minus of the battery that means it will be breakdown because again it is 10 volts so breakdown means see here breakdown means this is if I make plus minus like this then we will be wrong so plus minus so minus and plus so 4.1 volt so always remember when we replace the G0 diode like a battery the cathode side will be positive right then only it will be breakdown and what happens to this fellow this is uh, this is the cathode cathode is connected to negative terminal of the battery so it will be followed by us ideally means short circuit so uh, what is the maximum minus plus 10 4.1 and this is the v naught this is a 10 kilo again apply kvl plus 10 minus 4.1 plus v naught equal to 0 so what is v naught minus 5.9 volts so plus 5.9 minus 5.9 so the waveform will be like this this is the input waveform 10 minus 10 so see so what is the minimum voltage to make this breakdown region 4.1 so this is the 4.1 this is the minus 4.1 so up to this value we will get output as 0 only remember this point and from here we will get like this which is 5.9 volts again here also up to here 0 then we will get like this then 0 maximum is minus 5.9 volts so this is the wave shape of output signal so I hope it is clear if you are having any doubt you can post a comment so this is about the general diode problems.